Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. own online school. I'm teacher Hartung and our theme for this week is saving water and cleanup. Now before we start our lesson today we have to sanitize. Right now make sure you put enough sanitizer to cover both hands. Now let's see our lesson for today will be about Question words, capacity, and adjectives. For this part of our lesson, everyone, let's start on page 12. Now, here we have to do question words. Now, you will see in the table all the question words that you need and then it says read the answers in the right column and fill in the blanks on the left with the correct question word so you will see in the first column you have all your questions and for each question you have to fill in a question word but you can also look at the answer to see which question word is the right one. So let's do the first one together and see if we can find the right question word. So the first one I wrote on the board. So a blank space. Are you crying Jessica? So we have to find the right question word. So let's look at the answer and see what the right question word could be the answer is oh because i can't find my favorite doll so now that we know the answer what question word do you think we have to write in at a it's why that's right everyone so we can say why let's read the question again and see if this is the right word why are you crying Jessica so now the question asks why and why is Jessica crying because she can't find her favorite doll right now remember everyone, in order for you to complete all the sentences in the first column, you have to look at all the question words on top as well as the answers on the other side and that will help you to find the right question word. Okay, now everyone, I'm going to leave you to try and fill in all these question words. We will see you shortly after the break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Mm -hmm. 
In this part of our lesson, let's turn our booklets to page 13. And here we will do capacity. Now it says there that we have to calculate the capacity that each container holds. Now there you will see in the beginning you have five different containers and then you need to see how many of the smaller container will hold the contents of the bigger container. So let's look at number two. Can you see that the juice box in number two is worth 300 milliliters. The juice box capacity is 300 milliliters. And then you will see out of the 300 milliliters, you can get three bottles. So if we can get three bottles out of 300 milliliters, what is the capacity of one bottle? Now, let's see, 300 milliliters divided by 3 and that will give us 100 milliliters per bottle, right? Now, on the board, I wrote it down for you, so you can also look at it from this perspective to say 300 milliliters is equal to 100 milliliters plus 100 plus another 100 milliliters because remember we have three bottles so each bottle will then have the capacity of 100 milliliters right let's quickly get back to page 13 and see what it is that we have to calculate next now there it says you have to color so you need to color to fill each measuring jug to the levels indicated below now there you will see four measuring jugs and below each one you have a measurement the first one is 500 milliliters then 750 milliliters 250 milliliters and 1000 milliliters so here you have to look at the measuring jug and then you have to mark for each level and then you color it in right now let's quickly look at this second part or the next part for that matter it says how many milliliters of liquid are in each of these measuring jugs? Now here you will see each measuring jug will already have some water in it. And here you have to measure the water in the jug. And remember everyone, you can measure the water by looking where it stops or ends. Now once you have looked and seen where the water levels are you can write the amount in in the spaces provided at the bottom okay i think you will be able to do all of these by yourself now let's quickly look at the last part now here we have to convert now it says to convert liters to milliliters, we have to multiply by a thousand. But to convert milliliters to liters, we have to divide by one thousand. So let's do the first two together and see whether we have to multiply or whether we have to divide. Now the first one is six thousand milliliters now here we want to convert milliliters to liters and remember it said that if we want to convert milliliters to liters we have to divide can you see here we have to divide by 1000 
So 6,000 divided by 1,000, that will now give us 6 liters. Right. Now let's try the second one. Now the second one is we have to convert liters to milliliters. And when we have to do that, we will now multiply. So when we say 3 times 1000, so that means 1000 plus another 1000 plus another 1000. And that will now give us 3000 milliliters. Right. Now remember everyone, if you want to convert milliliters to liters, you divide by a thousand. But if you want to convert liters to milliliters, you multiply by one thousand. Right. Now everyone, I'm going to leave you to try and finish all these sums all on your own. Have fun everyone. We will see you shortly after the break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> For this part of our lesson, boys and girls, let's go to page 14. Now here, we will learn about adjectives. Right. Now it says that we have to write the adjectives in the correct category box below. Now before we get to all the words, let's quickly skip ahead and look at the category box. Now the category box has four uh, columns and these four columns are color, shape, size and appearance. Now we have to take all these words and we have to put them in these categories. So we have to look at the word and decide is it a color, is it a shape, a size or does it explain or describe appearance. Now, I chose four words from the word list that we are going to try to categorize. So, on the board I wrote these four words. Now, you will see these are also words that you will find in your word clouds. The words are orange, beautiful, large and pointy. Now, let's try and put them in the right categories. Let's start with the word orange. Is orange a color, shape, size or appearance? That's right everyone, it's a color. So, we write orange in the first column. Right. Next word is the word beautiful. Is beautiful a color, a shape, a size or appearance? It's appearance. So now we go ahead and we write beautiful in that column. Right. Now you can also scratch it out if you want so that you know which words you have used already. Now let's try the third word. The word large. Is it a color, a shape, size or appearance? It's a size. That's right everyone. So now we write it in the size column. And now the last word, pointy. Is pointy a color? No. Is it a shape? Yes, it's a shape. So now we don't even have to go any further. 
So now you will see we have all four words, one in each category. So now you can go ahead and read through all the other words and then decide is it a color, is it a shape, a size or does it explain or describe appearance, right? Now I know that you will have lots of fun so I'm going to leave you to finish this activity. We will see you shortly after the break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have come to the end of today's lesson, everyone. I hope you had lots and lots of fun. Now, remember, before we go home, we have to... We have come to the end of today's lesson, everyone. I hope you had lots and lots of fun. Now, remember, before we go home, we have to sanitize. So, everyone, make sure that you put enough sanitizer on your hands. Make sure that you rub it in, around, and also between your fingers. Now, before we go home, can you help me find our friend Zoshi? Because Zoshi and I are going to have some fun afterwards. There you are, Zoshi. Hello. So, before we go, I want to say, have fun boys and girls. And remember, make sure you finish all your work. Right, Zoshi? That's right. So, from Zoshi and I, we say, Goodbye, everyone! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.